North Carolina legislators have a long night ahead of them as they pour over hundreds of pages of the state's proposed budget. It's more than two months overdue. WNCT's Brandon Goldner joins us now. Brandon, what are some of the key highlights of this proposal? Well, Angela, we actually don't know many details of the budget because legislators haven't even released it to the public just yet. And there, some of the senators will be voting on it tomorrow. What we do know has a lot to do with education funding. It's been a hot topic in the state. Both educators and school superintendents are reacting cautiously until they get all the details of this budget. Pitt County Association of Educators Vice President Lauren Piner says the General Assembly's proposed budget is a step in the right direction, but still definitely not enough what our students in North Carolina deserve as well as what our employees in North Carolina deserve. She's concerned with the General Assembly calling for first grade class sizes to be reduced. Now she supports smaller classrooms, but she says it requires more classrooms and more teachers. She worries lawmakers will not provide the financial support for it. Where are you going to put these teachers and those students? Is there construction money to build our schools? Or are we going to have mobile home parks behind the schools? What school systems know for sure is they'll have the same number of teacher assistants as they did last year. Driver education funding also remains unchanged. Now, since school budgets were due months earlier, many superintendents, including Beaufort County's Dr. Don Phipps, had to guess how much the state would fund those areas. He guessed correctly. And at this point, we feel like we're able to maintain and move forward, and that's what we wanted, wanted to be able to do. It's also what lawmakers want to do as the Senate plans to vote on this budget as early as tomorrow, which worries Piner. This budget's going to be over 500 pages long. What senator is going to read the entire thing before then? Once the budget is released, it will give us a sense of how those teacher assistants, the driver's ed, and the smaller class sizes will be paid for. We do know the state took in more tax revenue than expected, and the state plans to expand the sales tax to cover other services. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the details once the full budget is released. Brandon Goldner, 9 on your side. Thank you, Brandon.